this is day six of my Colorado road trip, only day four of riding, so I may refer to this just as day four. It'll be episode four of this YouTube series. I just left my cousin's house. I am currently two hours behind schedule because I didn't sleep well last night and I figured rest was more important than beating the heat. Uh, especially because in this case, there really is no beating the heat. In the location I'm headed to, it is already almost 90 degrees, and it will be just right around 100 by the time I get there, whether I left two hours ago or whether I left right now. So I might as well just leave whenever and make sure I'm well rested at least before I hit the road. So that's what I did. I'm headed from Fort Collins, Colorado to, where am I going, Salt Lake City today. I've got a hotel that's near the airport there, so since it's near the airport, I don't know how noisy it's going to be. Hopefully I won't have any trouble sleeping. I do have earplugs, so that will help. I normally use them for riding, but I've been using them to help me sleep on this trip. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm crossing the Rockies today, so hopefully at the very least I will see some beautiful views, although to my great uh, consternation, there's uh, no relief from the heat even crossing the Rocky Mountains, which was uh, quite a surprise to me. This thing here, this uh, ghetto cruise control wrist rest thing has not been doing it for me. It just keeps, like I have to reset it every 10 minutes. It just doesn't stay in place. It keeps slipping down. It's not gripping the handlebar correctly. But that's all right. I guess I should talk a little bit about what I actually did in Fort Collins. Any of you who are familiar with the area or with what the area is famous for will know that it is famous for breweries. And most of what I did here was enjoy breweries with my cousin. Uh, the rest of the time pretty much we stayed at home at his house, just kind of hung out, relaxed, uh, played with his kid. He's got uh, like a one and a half year old, like almost two year old kid. And that's most of what we did, you know, we went out for breakfast one day, we, you know, I worked on my book while they did yard work and stuff, like it was just kind of like a chill, relaxed, <coughs> excuse me, a chill, relaxed weekend, didn't do anything too crazy, which was good because I was, I, you know, I really needed the, the two days off uh, so that I could spend some time not riding to recuperate for the long haul home which is going to be technically shorter in miles, but it's going to feel pretty rough due to the heat, so... The rest was good. The rest was good. It was a good rest. for gas real quick. Another rider stopped by here, came all the way out from Washington. I only know that because his license plate says so. He didn't seem too interested in having the chat. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna jump on I-80 West here, pretty much take it about 400 miles straight into Salt Lake City. Uh, just a few gas breaks in between, maybe stop for lunch. <sighs> It's going to be hot.
second guest up here in Rollins. Uh, I feel like I don't know too much about the Rocky Mountains, so I can't tell you all that much about it. I think we're in sort of a hilly valley between two ridges of the Rocky Mountains. Also kind of looking for somewhere to eat breakfast, but everything seems closed. I'm making pretty good time, and it's still early, even though this is already my second gas stop, which is a good thing. I'd like to reach Salt Lake before the heat really sets in, so doing pretty good so far. Stopped off at Penny's Diner here for breakfast. That was good. Not the best breakfast I ever had, to be perfectly honest, but satisfied me well enough. Hit the spot. Little country fried steak and eggs. And now I'm back on the road again. Turns out I'm actually a fair bit behind schedule. I thought I was ahead of schedule. That was wrong. So, going to be hoofing it a little bit here to make sure that I can get to Salt Lake City at a reasonable hour. Ooh! Sliding the rear coming out of the parking lot there a little bit. I must be in a bigger hurry than I thought. Reasonable hour. So anyway, it's taken me about three hours to get here, which is a little bit worse time than I hoped to be making. And I've got, according to my often incorrect mapping app, another four and a half hours to go before I hit Salt Lake, not including gas stops. The good news being that I should only need to do one more gas stop. It's like 270 more miles to go. And I just filled up and I get can do comfortably 150 miles a tank, so I'm going to do about like 100, then start looking for gas, and I should be able to wrap up today's leg on one more tank, so... making my final gas stop here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. This will be my last stop before heading into Utah and Salt Lake City, which will be my final stop. Took out a little bit of time to readjust my pads here, my makeshift uh, spacer thingy so that it'll hold me back on the seat. I made awesome time on that last stretch because it's the first road I've ever ridden on with a speed limit of 80. So everybody, all the traffic was pretty much averaging about 90. We're flying. Did 90 some odd miles in just a little over an hour, which is pretty darn good by my reckoning. Earlier I was complaining to myself that I wasn't making good enough time and that I was later than I thought. Uh, I would, you know, I didn't know that there was an 80 mile an hour speed limit zone. That's gaining me so much time. I'm probably gonna, well, I'm not gonna have quite the hubris to say I'll be early to Salt Lake, but I'll be a lot closer to on time than I expected, so that's good. For now, I gotta figure out exactly what the directions are gonna be for the last stretch.
thought I could make it all the way to Salt Lake City, but I couldn't. Started running out of gas just about 25 miles away. My instinct tells me that I could actually probably make it that last 20 miles, but it's better not to chance it. I'm just going to throw some gas in here before I finish the trip. 